All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to another live, you awesome human beings. Now, before we go any further at all, if you are watching this live, comment live. If you're watching this as a replay, comment replay down in the comment section below, right? So just if you're watching this live, comment live. If you're watching this as a replay, comment replay. Guys, I got something big for you. I, I, I um, this, this is huge. So I just got off a phone call with a guy called Sean, right? One of our clients, really, really awesome guy. And he was saying, dude, like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the program. I'm enjoying it. I'm feeling way more energetic. I'm feeling way less stressed. I'm feeling like you, his whole mentality had totally changed. It was completely different, way less stressed. Everything was getting to him way, way less. He was way more calm. He was feeling really, really good. But he's like, but I'm not losing as much weight as what I would have liked. You know, I'm, I'm X amount of time in and I still haven't lost as much weight as what I thought. So I'm happy in some respects, but I'm not happy in others. Uh, and he said, I'm starting to self-doubt myself and, I, and I'm starting to lose motivation and I'm starting to feel negative about the whole process. And so and this is a really, really interesting one. And I talked to Sean and Sean's been trying to lose weight for, for a fair amount of time. And he's done everything. He's done all the diets. He's done all the programs. He's been on 2000 calories, working his ass off in the gym every single day and none of it worked. Well, it did work short term. He lost a whole heap of weight and he gained it back on. But he's getting this stage where he's got self-doubt, he's losing motivation and he wasn't necessarily as positive as what he would have liked to have been. And we looked at it and we said, Sean, you're focusing purely on weight, right? And that's what he was looking at. His whole way that he validated whether or not he was being successful, whether or not our program was working for him was the amount of weight that he's lost. And I said, Sean, you're looking at weight. Weight is a lagging metric, not a lagging metric. And, and, and we talked about leading versus lagging metrics. Now, by the way, please let me know if you have or haven't heard of a leading metric, for, lead, leading metric versus a lagging metric. A lagging metric is something like making money. You go and you work for a week and then you get paid, right? You go and you build a business, you work your ass off for 5, 10, 15 years, and then you get paid a shitload of money at the end. Uh, you go and uh, take a girl out on a few dates and then she lets you touch her in fun ways. Uh, you go and do something, you put in some effort, and then you get a big payoff at the end. That is what we call a lagging metric. It's like these people, you see get rich quick schemes, right? Everyone's looking for like, oh, if I just do these three steps, I'm going to be a billionaire. Like It never happens like that. The big result, the big payoff at the end, the lagging metric occurs later on. Does that make sense? Lagging metric takes a long time. Things like weight loss. Weight loss doesn't happen instantly. You don't eat a fucking salad and lose 10 kilos, right? You go and you diet consistently for three, six, nine, 12 months, and then you end up losing a substantial amount of weight, and then you keep that weight off, right? A lot of people only track lagging metrics, and this is going to fuck with your confidence and it's going to fuck with your motivation because you're going to be in business for two weeks. You've just opened up your store. You've just started selling stuff. and You're like, where's my Lamborghini, right? Literally, there's a meme in crypto, which is when Lambo, right? Because people are like, they're just tracking. It's all about the money. That's all they're focusing. It's all about money. It's all about losing weight. It's all about getting sex. Fuck that. Let the lagging metrics lag. Let them be. What we need to focus on is leading metrics. Leading metrics are the things which to tell us whether we're going to be successful or not, whether we're going to achieve a lagging metric or not. Tracking just lagging metrics is fucking dumb because it takes a really, really long period of time. Okay? So we need to track leading metrics. So if you are setting up a business, we need to make sure that we do this. If you're looking at, I want to have a lot of money, lagging metric, we need to make sure, okay, cool. Well, do you have the appropriate products? Do you have the appropriate leads? Do you have a sales process that works? Can you track how your sales conversions are? And we need to be able to track every single step down the pipeline. If you want to lose 20 kilos of weight, are you dieting correctly? Are you training correctly? Are you taking the appropriate supplements? Are you sleeping well? Are you looking after your nervous system, your hormones, your hierarchy of health? Are you looking after all these things? You need to be tracking all of the leading metrics because the leading metrics will lead to the lagging metrics and the leading metrics will allow the lagging metrics to occur. Does that make sense? If you focus purely on tracking a result which takes 12 months or two years or five years or 10 years to achieve, of course, you're always going to doubt yourself. Because you're going to be working really, really hard. And you're going to say, but I don't have $10 million yet, James. And I say, yes, because $10 million takes time to be acquired. 
It takes skill and it takes all these leading metrics. And instead of focusing on just on these leading, on these lagging metrics, are you focusing on number one, are you making more money than what you did last week? Number two, are you doing the appropriate things to build up your business, build up your investment portfolio or whatnot? We need to make it so that we're tracking these leading metrics and focusing on these things which happen early, happen fast, happen quickly. Does that make sense? So I talked with Sean about this. And instead of us focusing on his lagging metric of weight, we focus on all the leading metrics. And so we fo found out that Sean is now feeling a whole heap better. He's not losing his shit, not losing his temper. He's feeling more energetic. He's having a heap of wins, which are leading metrics. And that's why it's important to track these things because otherwise we lose motivation. We get caught up in the negative. We start doubting ourselves and start doubting whether what we're doing is actually going to work. Okay. I can guarantee right now that if you start tracking leading metrics and using them as your number one thing that you will tell you whether you're doing well or whether you're not doing well, you'll be infinitely more successful than purely tracking lag lagging metrics. Now, Benjamin Reed has recently said, I recently fractured a rib in a car accident. Let's use Benjamin here as an example right now live. Benjamin's lagging metric will be, is my rib 100% healed because eventually that'll happen, but it could be many weeks or many months, depending on how that's gone. Now, the leading metrics for Ben will be, am I in less pain? Can I get X, Y, Z more movement? Do I have more thoracic extension, thoracic mobility? Am I able to breathe easier? Am I able to sleep better than what I did the night before? Am I using an aura ring? Oh. Am I using an aura ring? Am I able to track all of my data? Am I sleeping better? Am I recovering better? All these things, those are leading metrics that you can track every single day. But purely using the lagging metric of is my rib 110% healed is not going to be helpful whatsoever. Does that make sense, guys? So moral of the story, always track leading metrics, track lagging metrics, but don't base your decision making upon them. Always use the leading metrics for that because you're going to be way, way better. Now, I know this isn't sexy. I know this isn't fun. This isn't like pop a little pill or do this one little hack. This one weird trick will make everything okay. But tracking your data and tracking your metrics is, imper it is, is essential. You cannot miss out on this and I can't emphasize it enough. Now, before I go, if you're looking for more help, if you'd like to have more progress, we help men like you in the following ways. Number one, if you'd like to have more more energy if you would like number two if you'd like to have less stress less anxiety number three you would like to perform as a much much better father a much better husband a much better partner or a much better business owner or employee there are the three of the three areas that we can help you with and here are the following ways in which I can help you right now. Number one, if you do not have access to the hierarchy of health, you need to have access to this. It is essential and every single human being alive must have this. If you don't have access to the hierarchy of health, reach out and I'll give it to you right now as a part of our welcome pack. Number two, if you have not seen our podcast already, you should look it up. It's called High Performance Conversations. This is where I talk with people around me who are incredible human beings and are doing exceptionally well in life. And you should go and have a look at that because the High Performance Conversations podcast is fucking dope if I do say so myself. And you're going to get a hell of a lot of wins out of that. So that's the second thing you should do. Number three, if you need help with anything, shoot me a message. Just drop me a line. I'm always on my phone. I've got a newborn. What I do, I'm holding my beautiful little girl. I'm holding my beautiful girl and she's asleep most of the time. Time. And I can look at her for hours, but after a few hours, occasionally it does get tempting to go and talk to an adult human being every now and then on my phone. Shoot me a message. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be able to talk to you, help you out and give you whatever direction you need. I'm always available to help you guys. On that note, guy, I'll leave you to it. If you don't have the access to the hierarchy of health, get access to it. Comment hierarchy on this video right now or shoot me a message. Number two, watch the High Performance Conversations podcast. Number three, shoot me a direct message if you need any help whatsoever. I'll leave you all to it, you wonderful human beings. We'll speak soon.